Today is going to be an informal day. It's Friday. It's almost time to let my hair down. Uh, <laughs> no, but you know, in, in other words, man, we, we, it's, it's been crazy a couple of weeks. Uh, we've been preparing, as everybody see in front of the screen now, we have the 10X 360 Mastermind. Um, and as we talk about this, if you decide to actually get your tickets, reserve your seats, remember, we are about 65% already full. Hey, there's a QR code. All you'll need to do is scan the, the QR code and reserve your seat. But I mean, I want to I want to talk to you today about what's going to happen, what we've been able to do. We have Mr. Omar Peru with us, which is going to be pretty much he's the main attraction of the whole event. He is the keynote speaker. Um, he's going to be teaching so many things. He's going to be teaching you not only about how to think in business, but also how to develop your business in less than five days. We also have Mr. Brock Rotolo, which is a specialist and a master when it comes down to personal credit. He's also going to be one of our speakers. And, you you know, you truly, Carlos Estrada Vega, which is, I used to be the credit assassin at one point. And then we came back to actually Strata Vega Capital. But guys, how are you guys doing today? We're doing great. great. I'm doing great. Yep. Yeah. How's uh, how's weather over there in uh, in Florida, man? Unbelievable. Because I'm in New York. It's, it's cold. Sunny. It's uh, it's gorgeous right now. Oh, beautiful. After this, I'm gonna go for a nice walk on the beach. I tell you what, like I uh, I've been traveling so much to to Florida between New York and Florida, and uh, every time I go there, I don't want to come back. I yeah. more than more want to stay in Florida. Little by little, yeah. I'm gonna be moving there. But, um, you know, in, as, as we see, like, in business, a couple of things that, that sometimes tether us in certain places is, you know, either family or debt. So uh, for me, it's not that. For me, it's family. I got my kids in New York. But sometimes a lot of people tether themselves to a business because they have no way out. Right? right. And I think, I think that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to help you not only how to operate the business the proper way, but also how to find the money for you to be able to operate that business. What do you think about that, Omar? Well, uh, you're talking about a whole bunch of stuff there because there's a lot of different people. There's people that like the brick and mortar uh, uh, place, which is nothing wrong with that, like owning a restaurant or a chiropractor or, or, or you know mm -hmm. any of those things. And then uh, some people like dry cleaners, own all that. That's all fine and dandy. And then there's people like to work from home. So what we want to do is show people how you can do both. So Got we'll it. be talking about how to buy a business, if you own a business, how to make it more profitable and build it. And some people want to exit exit a business, so they'll be talking. We'll be talking about that as part of the event. Uh, well, I'll be talking about my book, The Smart Startup, which is a number one bestseller with uh, Tom Hopkins and Brian Tracy. So we'll be uh, talking about that. And, um, of course, you said we're bringing in uh, bottom line concepts, uh, and, and they'll be talking about the ERC program, which is pretty yeah. interesting. And then we also have the uh, – uh, we have speakers speaking on a five how to how to start a business in five days, which is amazing. Now that would be a home business. That's true. Um, and I think a lot of people are looking to either uh, start a side hustle because of the economy and the recession we're going into, mm -hmm. and we are going into it for the next two years. Yeah. I, mean, I just was uh, watching um, Grant Cardone talking about all this stuff that's going yeah. on. And, uh, you know, I know because he knows and I've done it and he's done it, that real estate is going to be a good place to be. So the second day, we're going to talk about real estate. We're going to talk about uh, Airbnb, wholesale, fine, fix and flip, fine, fix and hold, commercial real estate, foreclosures, bank owned properties, all that. So we'll be talking about that also. And uh, also we'll be teaching people. Well, you tell them, uh, Carlos, what you guys will be teaching Ah, man. So we're going to be teaching you not only how to structure your business when it comes down to meeting all the contingencies and the compliance items that a bank will need you to have to lend you money. So the goal here is for us to help you and teach you and work with you because now we are, we are, we are about to launch at this event a done for you type of service in which in within 90 days you will be able to fund your business. Um, but one of the main things um, that we also want to teach you is when it comes down to the real estate side, 
is how to structure your business for you to fund your real estate business as well. So there's certain components here that, you know, we, we definitely got to be going more in depth later on. But one thing that I wanted to go ahead and ask you, Omar, um, I know like we're getting people and, and throughout the past couple of days, we're talking to people about the event. A lot of them, you, they know that a recession is going on. They hear it everywhere. Um, they want to learn more about real estate. And again, you talked about that, something that we're going to be touching on. What do you think would be the best way to actually for us to go ahead and teach them on Sunday? Because Sundays, that's when we're actually going to be able to go ahead and touch on real estate. Should we actually go to the residential, the commercial side? I mean, what do you think is the best option for them to go ahead and invest this year in 2023? Well, that depends on the person. I would not touch residential right now. Mm -hmm. I would look at commercial. Yeah. I would wait until the end of the year. And then I think we got a good two-year window to buy single yeah. family homes. Uh, but I would not touch single family till like the end of the year, the fourth quarter. And after that, and then, uh, but commercial you could be doing right now. And there's still people doing wholesaling. Uh, I, you know, got a few students doing that and very successful, uh, but it's yeah. not as easy as it was the wholesaling and neither is fine fix and flip because things are overpriced. So right. um, we'll be teaching you and talking about all this. We're going to give you like a, a, a market recap that day and talk to you about what's going on with the market as we speak from now until six months from now. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I think it's important that everybody realizes that you have to learn how to run a business. So the first day, I'm going to talk to you about how to go from zero to wealth and, and build a business, run a business, uh, whether it's sales, customer service, mm. uh, you know, whatever. I'll highly, I'll touch lightly on a few things, but I'll go heavy into others yeah. because I know that our group is more entrepreneurs. So that's what I'll be looking at. But it's going to be a great two days and um, got a lot of good speakers. We've got a good seven speakers coming in. They're all knowledgeable teach you how to business you know do your how to all you know like all you can home-based businesses things like that so i think I, I hope everybody's excited and don't forget carlos rock tell them about the experience That's yeah experience. yeah so i mean yeah. this is just an amazing event altogether so to break it down a little further april 21st through april 23rd that's when we're going to be hosting our event so this is going to be hosted in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at uh, one of the multi-million dollar homes. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we're talking about luxury accommodations. So, yeah, we're we're going to be talking about how to scale a business, how to build a business, business credit, personal credit. We're going to be basically wrapping that all up for you while you're sitting there and enjoying all these luxury accommodations too. So, you know, we're talking about breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're talking about, um, you know, all-inclusive drinks. And this is going to be, you know, someplace that what we've designed here is someplace for entrepreneurs, for business owners, or for highly motivated individuals that are looking to open or scale their business where they can come and they don't have to leave, right? So the biggest thing here is about expanding your network. Right. Your network is your net worth. So we found it extremely important to host this in a massive home so that everybody can get to know everybody. Now, when we're talking about this home, also understand that this is extremely limited seats, too. It's not like we've got hundreds of seats to sell. No, that would take away from this like uh, exclusive event that we're hosting here. So we wanted to make it as inclusive as possible so that way our clients who are coming to this event not only are they going to be able to walk away with valuable information but also powerful connections right yeah, as, as, as i know that the place uh we looked at it this week it was amazing 10 bedrooms big mansion big pool uh, amazing grounds and uh we know that there's um there's going to be an opportunity for people to stay at the house. So there's, I, I believe, mm -hmm. what, nine bedrooms for 10 bedrooms or something. And uh, yeah. so you may want to touch on that. But, but look, the bottom line, it's going to be a, an experience. Um, some of you can do the VIP, where you'll get a private chef to do a VIP. Oh, yeah. dinner. Now, but how it works, I think we'd have to be clear. It's, it's two, it's, the event is actually two days. 
But the 21st, we have a reception at night. Starting right, that would be Friday. I mean, Friday night. And that, that would be yeah. Friday. The 20, is that the 21st, right, of April? Mm -hmm. And then the two days of training are Saturday and Sunday. And then after that, we were having a reception and a VIP dinner. And then on Saturday, and then the next day is a full day of training. And that's it. Then you'll walk out with tools, a lot of nuggets, a notebook. Bring your notebook, notebook and your uh, pen and pencil, and you'll have a full booklet. I promise you, I'm a teacher, and I teach to get results. So you're going to yeah. walk out with stuff that's going to increase your income <clears throat> right now, the moment you walk out. In fact, while you're there, you can make phone calls. I'll teach you how to use the phone properly. And I'll teach, I'm going to teach you skills mastery, goal setting, time blocking, time management, all the things you need to be a successful entrepreneur. The next day, we're going to rock you. There's going to be a lot of different things. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm excited for this because it's not only that. You know, it's something that I, that I, that I have learned throughout the years. I mean, even, even with, with Omar and Brock, the way that we met was at an event. Is sometimes it's where you go. Sometimes you, you meet people that you never know that you're going to meet them that can change the whole trajectory of your life, your future, can completely change. So even though I've probably seen some type of training in the past, but you never know how can Omar or one of us say it today that can all of a sudden just click in your mind and give you that aha moment. But not only that, the power of meeting new people every single day. So what I'll tell you is make the effort to come, but come open. Come um, with a mindset to meet new people that will change your life. To meet the, the person that you potentially want to do business with or can potentially change your life or even better. You could change someone's life at this event. So that's something that, that I, I always, everywhere I go, even, even the other day, um, uh, I was talking to Brock. I was feeling so tired. And I think it was a couple of weeks ago, we had an event, a uh, local event at, a, at, a, at one of the Chamber of Commerce. And I'm like, man, Brock, I don't know what, if I should go. And Brock threw my own words at me. So I have to like, and you're the one that always say that you, you know, the same words that I just say, you know, and you're the one that always talk about that you should go to places. I mean, put your A game. You never know what you, who you could meet. I'm like, ah, man, now that you throw my own words on me, I got, I got to do it. I can be looking like a chump. So I went and I met some wonderful people, potential business that can go forward. Actually, I made a, an O on bet, Vietnam bet that works for the VFW, but you know, in, in, in conversation, come to find out that he was the regional manager for the IRS for the whole Northeast area. And he knows about the codes when it comes down to how affects business and how can business get away with, not away, get away, but use the law. So that's someone that we will eventually now bring into the podcast so they could teach a lot of the business owners. So it's just from going out and having, keeping an open mind. I, you know, you guys will see how, and how much you guys can get from this event, from the 10X 360 Mastermind. And we call it the 10X 360 because it's a whole business in a box. You will have access to everything that have to do with the business. This is why we're telling you that you can build the business in less than five days. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about operations. We're talking yeah. about wealth management. We're, I mean, like these... These individuals that are coming to our event, they're going to be leaving with so much valuable info that, you know, again, it's to build a business or to scale their existing business right there. When you leave, just like Omar said, when you leave, you can start to increase your profits right away. Right. There we go. That's the key. You know, you know, you, there's a lot of seminars, a lot of masterminds, but you, you go to them and then for, within 48 hours, you forgot what the people said. This is going to be a life-changing mastermind for everyone that's involved. So hopefully um, you'll take a good look at us and make sure that you, you know the dates. It's uh, Friday night is the reception, but Saturday and Sunday is the event. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun at this exclusive mansion, 10-bedroom mansion. And it's I just saw it this week. It's crazy. So I hope mm -hmm. you come and enjoy the lifestyle and – uh, learn a lot and come out with some maybe two or three businesses that you want to do. All right. I, so let, let's shift let's shift gears here now. 
Because everybody knows, you know, now that what we're going to be doing. But why do we do it? Omar, I want to talk to you. I know what you do, certain things that you do, especially what you teach and mentor. But for those that don't know you, I mean, you're a well-known individual, um, public speaker. You've been in this industry for more than 30 years, self-mail millionaire by age 31. Written 26 now, 25, 26 books? 27. Oh, excuse me. 27 books. How I was not two weeks ago. <laughs> so, um, so tell everybody, because there's always going to be like, even though anything that we do, there's always going to be someone that don't know us. Let's just say that someone is watching <laughs> this, this live and they want to know who Omar Peru is. Why do you do what you do? Why do you want to help people to, to, to now improve themselves and be able to create freedom? Right. Well, I got lucky. I uh, worked in a health club and a gentleman owned it. He was the investor and I didn't know him because he was the investor. And he drove in one morning and I was a young kid, 19 and a half years old, struggling. And, um, he walked in and I thought to myself, man, if I could be like that guy, he pulls up in a 6.9 black Mercedes, which was a car I've never seen before. It's a big sedan Mercedes, 6.9. And he walks in dressed, you know, professionally. He's got this big medallion. It says it's a, the Phoenix bird with diamonds all over the wings and the body wow. and around. It says Champions Unlimited. And it was like that, big. So I, I'm like, wow. So he comes up and uh, I meet the other owner and he says, hey, um, I heard you're really great at personal training. I own this club. Uh, you know, why don't we do this? And I said, sure. And he says, uh, instead of paying you, I'll teach you self-development. So he managed Tom Hopkins, mm -hmm. managed Dennis Waitley, Jay Abraham, Dr. Maxwell Maltz, uh, da Daniela Kennedy, just to name a few people, best friends with Jim Rohn, Bob Proctor, Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, work with people like that. So I got lucky. He mentored me, changed my life. And that's why I do this because, you know, money is, is is great. We need it. Money won't make you happy, but it will let you find out what will make you happy, right? So <laughs> well, you, you need money, right? Yeah. Uh, but, but I think it's important that you realize that at the end of the day, the most important thing is – Number one, spirituality. Number two is your health, right? To get rich and sick is stupid. Number three is being happy most of the time. Nobody's happy all the time. And number four is money. You need money. Money is nothing but a vehicle. And I'm glad that I learned from the best. And now my goal is to teach as many people as I can about not just, you know, money fight, uh, literacy, but you need, you really need to know your internal, external money, body type, who you are. You need to find out how you proceed money. Uh, it, you know, that could be affecting you alone. So sure. we're going to talk about that the first day, all that stuff, the good stuff, the mindset stuff. And then the second day, it's going to be all uh, from the afternoon on. It's all, you know, B2B businesses that you can pick up and learn. Yeah. But I do this because I want to help others achieve greatness. That's my goal. Oh, I love that. All this achieve greatness. Now, Brock, I, I know who you are. I know that you've done a lot of investments and you got your, your hands in a lot of pots when it comes down to investing. You're a well knowledgeable guy, um, especially in, in, in credit. So, but tell everybody, who is Brock? Oof. Um, I mean, really, honestly, Carlos, what would you like to know? Right. So uh, I'm from, from Florida, um, moved around a whole bunch. Yeah. Got into personal credit a few years ago. Um, yeah. And when I did that, I, I wanted to know everything about it. Um, and I ended up helping a, a lot of people uh, with their personal credit. I also volunteer at um, here in Florida at a women's rehab where where I could talk about personal credit to these individuals. And that's that's, awesome. that's a lot of fun, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, just to kind of. It's a completely different world, Carlos, yeah. right? So, you know, we take a lot of things for granted. And so when I'm able to talk to these um, these women at this at these rehab facilities and kind of open their eyes to what credit is, um, it's it's amazing. And I, I think that's that's so important 
whether you've got a 500 credit score, 850 credit score, there's a lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of things that people just don't understand about not just maintaining and building credit, but what it's really used for, right? So when we're talking about scaling a business, if you're if you don't have a, a standalone business, if you're not Google or Facebook, you know, yeah. some massive business, you will have to rely on your personal credit. It goes hand in hand. Now, you won't have to do that forever. OK, that's one of the things that we're going to be discussing at the event. But initially, that's that's really what it's based off of. So the better your personal credit can be, the more funding that you can get for your business, the more steps that your business can take in the right direction for growth and for scaling. And that's what we're all about. Right. So, again, you know, if we're talking to somebody who doesn't have a business, we want to show you how to shape your business and how to build your business credit your business funding. So that way, you know, you're not just here two years from now, you're here for generations from now. We're talking about handing down your business or exiting your business at some point in time. Um, and if you're trying to scale your business, you know, you've already got an existing business, you're doing great, you've got some revenue, right? Well, what would you do with an extra X, Y, and Z amount of money? Would you put it into marketing, right? Would you put it into uh, recruiting? Would you, how would you expand your business? What would you do with that money? And what would you return on that investment be? And so I think that's really fascinating. And that's what I love about, you know, personal credit, business credit and business scaling. Yeah, man. I mean, and, and that, that's amazing. Uh, and thank you, Brock. Um, and one of the main things, why we do what we do. At the end of the day, like, like Omar was talking about, say, so yeah, um, uh, um, money will make you happy. But at least it gives you the platform to allow you to make others' dreams come true. Like if you want really want to invest in yourself, you want to become better. Because nobody, you cannot give value to others if you have no value to give. And in order to do that, you need to self-develop. And in order to self-develop, you need some money, right? Because nothing that is Everything worth having. Is in your, yeah, you got to invest in your future. I mean, it comes on what you Correct. want if you want. Whatever it is, self-development. I mean, some people uh, go to Tony Robbins, uh, which is great. Yeah. Some people go to Grant Cardone, which is great. Some people go to, you know, uh, some of these uh, huge seminars like I was on, Get Motivated, which is great. You just, I, I think if you just continuously and never-ending stop learning, you will become whoever you wish to become. Mm -hmm. And that's Correct. what I did. And that's how I got here. And again, that, that's how you leave leg legacy behind because sometimes it's not how much money you can leave behind. It's how much you taught others to not only develop themselves and be able to create and procreate more money. Pro not procreate, but create more money. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. You know, look, look, at people, look, people are still – we lost uh, my mentor, Bob Proctor, last year. And people are still yeah. with a buzz about all the great things he did. Jim Rohn, another great one of those – one of my mentors who I became really close to because Mr. Murphy was best friends with him. Uh, yeah. He uh, changed my life, Jim Rohn. He was amazing. Um, you know, we lost Zig Ziglar. who was like my grandpa. I never got to meet. But he wrote this uh, last forward, his fourth and only. He only wrote four forwards in his life. He was 80-something years old, 88, I think, when he died. And he only wow. wrote four. Mine was the last one. So, you know, awesome. you know, when you get lucky enough to hang around people like that and become friends – and have them mentor you, uh, it's it's amazing. That's what I wish to for everyone else is that I can just uh, take you know and teach them what I know, right? You just got to be coachable. And now let me ask you something with that. Some serious training at this event. That's awesome, though. So let me ask you something with that because I mean it, it, that is amazing that you you were able to not only learn from like you you call those guys the goats, the greatest right. of all time. Like we've been very, I don't think I, I want to, I don't want to call myself lucky, but we put ourselves in the, in the, in the right place at the right time. And we were able to meet you and through you, we've been able to hear all of the stories of uh, you, you being, you know, how your life was with them, what you were learning from them. And it's amazing to hear that, you know, this is like an opportunity that only comes around once in a lifetime. So yeah. tell us. What was, how do you feel? I mean, it, what were one of the main teachings that you learned from all of these guys? You know, Bob Proctor, Mr. Murphy. I mean, everybody else that you've been, been around that you have been able to actually learn so much and made you who you are today. Well, the first thing they taught me and I learned and I was already 
you know, into a lot of music and sports and things, is you got to be super coachable. Hmm. If you're not coachable, you know, a lot of people start getting a little success and they get they get taken out. You know, yeah. they get they fake they fake themselves out. They think they've arrived, and um, so you got to be coachable. Number one, the second thing they taught me is you got to have tenacity. Got to be persistent. Mm-hmm. So whatever you want, and I, let me let me make a, a real make sure you guys get this. Got to be persistent and have tenacity. However, make sure it's the right vehicle. Because if you're chasing down the wrong vehicle, you're wasting your time and money. And a lot of people do it. And you see it all the time. I mean, anybody that's selling something that's, I'm like I told you guys a story, I trained Air Touch Paging. And I met him in 2001. And he says, I want you to train my companies uh, twice a month. Two, I did a two-day sales boot camp and success boot camp. Mm-hmm. Um, so he brought me to, to Dallas every month, and he brought me to Sacramento every month. That's how he split up the teams. And I taught the same program every time. And after a few years, you know, he had built this business up, and he said, uh, I'm going to get out. I said, why? He says, well, the pager business is changing, and I built it. I'm in 48 states, and he sold it for hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And then when he sold it, he invited me. He became a chef, and he has a restaurant in Scottsdale. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a chef. So he had hundreds and hundreds of millions. What if that guy would have kept that pager company? What Continued. What would have done happened? He would have lost his ass. Yeah. He walked, around, walked away clear with $300 plus million, <clears throat> set wow. for life, living his, living his dream to be a chef with his own little restaurant. Nice. And, you know... If he would have hung on to that thing till 2007, 2008, he would have got yeah. goose for it. It's just like right. my, my other friend that I mentored and took to the top. He was uh, he had three states. He's the president of Yellow Book USA, Joe Walsh, and he had three states at the time. And he heard I did a great job with a few of his people. Their sales went through the roof. Like after they saw me, their sales went up six, six, six hundred percent. Wow. So they and he sent like twelve people to see me. So he, he had me fly to New York, and I sat with him. He watched me do a, a talk to a, group, a small group, and he says, "I want you to work with me for the next whatever it takes. I'll pay you seven figures a year, and um, you're gonna go around and every time I buy a new mom and pop yellow pages or a company, you're gonna yellow book them." So I created a whole boot camp on success and sales. That was about Yellow Book. So we did from three states to 48 states. You saw many years ago that he would sponsor the football game in Atlanta. It was called the Yellow Book Bowl, right? Well, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Yellow Pages were like that, remember? And, oh, yeah. But he saw it, and he, gave, he got out in like uh, 2009. And wow. he sold it to BTI for $1.6 billion. Wow. Wow. Now, his goal with me was, when I met him, he was worth $1.3 million. His goal was $10 million with me. And he walked out with a billion six. Wow. And he rewarded his uh, people that worked for him, the top people, the sales and managers, and he rewarded me for being there. So the bottom line is, if you – one thing is – be pers- be coachable, be persistent, be- have tenacity, but find the right vehicle. Don't waste your time on stuff that's not going to make you rich. It's like, you know, today I had a person that uh, called me up, wanted coaching, and by the time she was done, I told her that I would not be interested. I would love to help her and give her a, 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 an hour of my time, but I would not recommend that she did what she's doing. I won't tell you what it is, but it was something that's not going to make her a lot of money and yeah. it's going to lose a lot of time when you're trading time for money and mm. not getting big results you're living your life by default wow you know you're living your life by default and if you're trading time for money and working for somebody else you're living your life by default because you're working for somebody else's goals their dreams not yours wow, so right. you want to you want to be able to look 
I, I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm telling you, keep doing what you're doing. Find a side hustle. And when it matches your income, if you hate your job, walk away from it. But don't quit. Don't walk away from cash flow until you have cash flow. Because I see too many people walk away from everything and then start doing entrepreneurship and then they, they don't know what the hell they're doing and there's a learning curve and that's why we're doing this event we are want to speed up the learning curve for you guys and you do it by studying with people like myself carlos brock and the other speakers we're bringing what we do is we save you time money and what is that worth to you right yeah a lot of headaches i'm worth saving a lot of headaches <laughs> losing money Avoid the pitfalls, the quicksand. Yeah, something that people, you know, we want to make sure that you understand too that we are not perfect. We 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 made the mistakes, and we can tell you where not to go. I mean, if there's a it's a mine on that field, we're gonna tell you where not to step because you may get blown up just like we did in the past. So you know, sometimes I like to say, you know, we leave the school of hard knocks, and we have some expensive, very expensive um, lessons. But they're rewarding because they teach us so much today that we now are able to not only have learned, but become so much better in discerning what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. and that's that, that's how people, you know, that, that that's when you have a mentor that can walk you through and, and, and cut. I mean, working, working with, with Omar, I mean, that that that's shortened the the distance where we wanted to go so much by years. So I saved so many years. So I got to thank you, Omar, because I saved a lot of years of my life. A lot of headaches. Thank you. Of hey, I, I feel the same way about you guys. You guys are champions. I mean, I, I, have, I have some whites right here. I could I could be by you if I <laughs> like you right now. If I, no, I, this is, I've been great since I was. You know, it's funny. I, I was, I've been great since I was a little kid. I had to yeah. see this the, the whiter part right yeah, there. I see, yeah. I've had this since I was a little kid. In fact, the kids used to tease me. When I came from Cuba, I couldn't speak English, and they yeah. called me uh, Pepe Le Pew. Remember the skunk? It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> my hair was black, and then I had this one thing streak going right down. Oh, why? So I always like try to keep it short. You know, I tell my my mom, when I go there, <laughs> you cut it short. I tell the barber because they called me Pepe Le Pew, and then of course I became the fastest kid in the school, and I won all these uh, track meets in the state and. Yeah, and uh, then they started calling me Speedy Gonzalez because I'm Spanish. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez, <laughs> remember those little fellas? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I got those two nicknames. But you know, I, I, you know, that's you got to, you got to learn uh, that you know, those are the kind of things that drive you, right? Because yeah. uh, you know, people calling you a skunk, you know, even though he was kind of a, a woman, <laughs> big man, remember? Pepe right. Right. You? So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. It was there, it was Pepe Le Pew. And then um and then uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Not too bad guys would be uh nicknamed after. Yeah, <laughs> but one of my you're you're gonna save time with us, you're gonna save money. The key is are you willing to invest in yourself for your future, for your family's yeah. future? And that's that's I say yes because I've done it. I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in mentors. Coaches, uh, events, trips, no, those things. Right. And, and I think it's really important as far as mentorship is to get with somebody who's done it before, who's where you want to be, right? Who's done it a million times before. Just imagine that. Uh, imagine all the time and all those mistakes that, that, can, that you don't have to do. You don't have to spend all that time. You don't have to make those mistakes because why? Because the person that you're speaking with has already made those mistakes and they can advise you on what to do exactly. So, I mean, it, it's all about saving time and energy. You know, your business is doing great right now. Fantastic. You know, where are you going to be in 10 years? Where do you imagine your business to be in 10 years? Okay, great. You imagine your business to be here. Well, what if you can do it in half the time? What if you can do it in a third of the time, a quarter of the time? Would that be worth it to you? Of course it would. And that's exactly why we have 10X 360 Mastermind. And not only that, and not only the scaling of a business, but also if you're looking, if you know that you want to exit your business in the future. And if we're talking about, you know, when we talk about exit, if you want to sell your business, 
how much we can help you so we can value your business to a higher price so like that you get a, a better EBITDA when you sell your business, you either go, either want to take it public or whatever the case is. But not only that, keep in mind that by having great lines of credit for your business, make your business more valuable. Mm -hmm. If your business can can get and can acquire more lending, loans, credit, so on, that makes your business more valuable. And that means that you don't have to be present. If you need to be present in your business, that means you own a job. But if you if that business can run without you, then it's more is worth it to a new investors coming in than want to actually buy your business. So keep that in mind. We can also help you not only to start to scale, but to exit that business if that's your choice. That's what we'll be teaching at the mastermind and much, much more. So Brock, you want to give them the whole where it's at and all that? And yeah. So yeah, let's break it down again. Important. All right, guys. Tell April twenty. I'm sorry. Tell them what city it's in and everything where they fly in. Yeah. And April 21st through April 23rd, so roughly about a month from now. And this is going to be in Fort Lauderdale. Well, it's actually in Weston, so pretty so close Fort to Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. It's good. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be in one of the multi-million dollar mansions. Uh, we're talking about, just like we said earlier, 10 bedrooms, massive pool, bars. I mean, guys, luxurious accommodations. And so all the while you're learning, you're spending exclusive time with mentors so this isn't just a, hey, um, you know, look at me on stage from 20 feet away. No, this is you're going to be able to speak to your mentors. You're going to be able to speak to the speakers, like very up close and personal. And that's why we decided to do it this way, as opposed to the traditional on stage uh, mastermind. Right. So we want everyone to get up close and personal and create those powerful connections. So, again, April 21st through April 23rd in Weston, Florida. And um, we've got two different types of tickets there. So, guys, there's a QR code right on our screen here. You can learn more. You can watch a couple of videos and figure out which ticket suits you best. If you'd like to stay on site with us, awesome. You have full access to all amenities of this mansion. You get to stay on site. You don't need to go anywhere. Everything is provided. All food, drinks, you name it, white glove services. Or if you just want to join the event, come see us. Spend the time in the house and then find your own lodging. We've got that available for you as well. Sure. Well, guys, well, I appreciate it. Um, we've been here for about 40 minutes. It's a Friday. Like I said, I need to get my hair down. I need to go get some sun because it's cold out here. No, but thank you, guys. Thank you for being here with us. If you're watching this, don't forget, go on the bottom of the video. There will be another link. You can also use the QR code that is on the screen right now. Check it out. Um, go in there. If you have any questions, you want to know more information, always call our office, which is 516-600-0127. I almost forget my own number right there. You saw that. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> so 516-600-0127. Guys, hey, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, man. We'll see you soon. And we're definitely going to be talking more, you know, more about this to, in the next couple of weeks as we're getting closer. There's going to be more than likely it's going to be new, new speakers, but you guys will hear more about this. So stay tuned.